Hey there, I'm Mayank and welcome to Mayank's Movement. Today I'd like to inspire you just to get down onto the ground and move your body a little differently and it'll help to counteract all of the daily sitting that we do in our, daily, in our life. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to come down into what we call the Sphinx Cobra. So we're just on our elbows and we're in a nice easy position lying here. And what we want is to be quite proud through the chest. So we're not slumping down, we're not dropping our head. Lifting up, pulling your chest a little bit forward, being strong, lifting up through the head. And then you're getting a nice gentle stretch through your spine. And another key thing is that you're releasing here through the hips and through the hip flexors. All right, so we're counteracting all of this position that we're in a lot. We're opening it out in a nice, relaxed, safe way. So we can just hang out here for a bit. The good thing about this position is, instead of coming home from work or from your day or at any time during your day, instead of going and sitting at your desk or sitting at your couch with your computer or your phone, drop down onto the floor into this position. You can have your phone in your, or your laptop here and you can do whatever you need and your body's sitting in a completely different space here. Now if you find that you can't sit here for too long, which might happen at the beginning, and another thing that can happen is you can get a bit of a, a rush of blood to the head sometimes when you come down onto the ground in this position and feel a little bit dizzy. It's okay, just sit with it, just breathe, close your eyes if you want to and it'll pass. It's just the body adjusting to a new position. It's not used to being down here. You should be down here more often. All right. When your back does get a little tired, your lower back maybe just feels it a little much. If you're not used to it, if it's a little tight, then come down into this forward position. Rest your forehead on your palms. And here you'll find that you can really release through your lower back. You can rock your hips a little from side to side just to help the hips and the lower back release. And then in this position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five belly breaths. So we're gonna breathe right down here into the belly. The good thing about lying in this position is you can really feel it. You can probably see my belly is lifting out here. So we're breathing in through the nose, way down deep into the belly and feel the belly lifting up your torso a little. And the good thing about breathing into your belly, it's what's called your rest and digest breath. It's very good for de-stressing and relaxing. When we're breathing up here in the chest, they often call it your fight and flight breath. <laughs> We like that, I mean, I'm exaggerating. But when we're breathing down here, the body goes into a completely different stress-free situation. And now we're gonna take that breath, and we, along with it, we're gonna inhale, and we're just gonna lift our chest high, our head up, just whatever's comfortable, and then slowly exhale and slowly release down. And the key thing is here, when we come down, completely rest and, and release the holding in the back and the shoulders and the neck before you engage as you breathe in and lift up again. So I'm inhaling and lifting up. I'm exhaling. I'm slowly releasing down with control. And when I'm down, I'm completely releasing the holding of any muscles. Again, engage the muscles, inhale, lifting up, being long through the spine, lifting up through the top of the head, chest proud. You can even pull forward a little bit with your elbows and release down. And release. Inhale.
release down slowly really and then just pause and rest here for a moment and then when you're ready come back up onto your elbows push yourself back onto your knees and up onto your hands so now we're in a tabletop position We've got our wrists under our shoulders. And we've got our knees under our hips. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to do some gentle rocking. So we'll start with our feet flat down. Just drop your butt back towards your heels. As much as you can, wherever you can. One thing, if you've got a little bit of knee problem, don't be put off. You can do this by putting a couple of pillows under your knees, if that helps. Still all good. If you can't go back very far, don't worry. If you can't go forward very far, don't worry. Whatever your range of motion is, just gently start moving backwards and forwards. And feel how good that feels on your hips. And you're putting weight into your shoulders as well. So it's what's called loading the joints, which is all very good. I'm going to take these out. After you've done about 10 of those, the next thing you can try is tucking your toes under at the back. And this is very good for your feet. You're really opening up the plantar fascia here on the bottom. Giving you a nice stretch, good for the Achilles tendon. And again, just come back as far as you can. If you can get right back there, then good. If you can reach out, you're in like a yoga prayer position now. And then from there, again, we're just rocking. Now the key thing here is we want our spine to be in a nice neutral position. So we don't want this. We don't want to be dropping the head and rounding the back. And we don't want overextension either. We don't want to curve, drop too much into here and extend too much here. Natural position. So there's a nice little S, S shape in our back from the top down to the lumbar region. And the best way to get that is just to keep your chest proud. So then we're moving with our back in a nice natural position. This is really good for re rebuilding good and true alignment. Now if you want to, you're feeling like this is really good and you want to uh, step it up a little when you're pushing forward really engage your glutes notice how that throws you forward good for activating the gluteal muscles as well and you can actually rock quite fast if you want to and you'll notice that you're getting more work in the shoulders and in the wrists dig your fingers into the ground if you want to support your wrists a little bit more There's nothing wrong with just doing it very slow and very relaxed as well. Okay, and then the one last thing we're going to do here, drop your feet back down flat, untuck your toes. You can even put your knees a little bit wider apart, and we're just going to do some gentle circles. And now if you're sitting all day, I'm betturing that your hips are just going, oh my goodness, this feels good about now. The good thing about this is you're also loading body weight from one shoulder to the other shoulder over to the knee and hip here, the knee and the hip here. Move it back the other way. Nice. And you can do as much of this as feels good. I would suggest you do at least five in each direction. And then when you're done, just come back down to this position, your sphinx, on your elbows. And just hang out here for a bit if you can. Okay, so that's the tip for today. Uh, as you can see, I'm just in my day clothes. I'm just on the floor. You don't need to be in your workout clothes. You don't need a yoga mat. Wherever you are, get down on the floor in your office. 
And when you come home, get down on the floor and do this, check your mail, check your Facebook. And just to help you hang out in this position a little longer, I'm going to tag on a little uh, video from a hike I did last month up in the snow, just to keep you entertained. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye. Apna jaisa manu sabko.